Alright guys, for this next animation, um, a lot of people call this kinetic typography. If you go to YouTube and type in kinetic typography, you're going to see hundreds of exam examples because a lot of people who start off with After Effects, that might be one of the first projects that they do. So basically that means that I'm syncing um, sound and text together. So with this one, we're going to learn how to import sound and how to um, align it. And then we're also going to learn um, how to animate the text individually. And we're also going to learn how we can like animate a portion of our composition and then squish down some layers since we're working with like several different words we're animating um, and bring those together. So here we're going to go to uh, composition, new composition. And for this one, I'm going to be importing um, a sound clip that is five seconds and two frames. So it's really important that you actually, uh, you know, um, pick the duration of your composition to match the actual uh, sound bite. Um, so this one we're going to call first name, last name, underscore, and this one's going to be called text and sound, and today's date. And for this one, you do want to specifically pick a color that you like. There isn't going to be, we're only going to import the sound bite. We're not going to import any graphics. So I picked a really pretty blue here, and I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to import my sound bite. So I'm going to double click on the project panel, and I'm going to scroll down in my assets and find the MP3 that's called Step Brothers. And I'm going to say Open and I'm going to click and drag that um, into my timeline. Now after I do that, I'm going to um, twirl down my audio and I'm going to twirl down my waveform. And now we're actually going to see the waveform in the timeline and this is going to be so helpful. This is what's going to help us actually align our text to what people, like when people are actually talking. So that's going to be like, oh, somebody's going to start talking here and there's words at each one of these peaks. Um, and then another really cool uh, thing is if you hold down the command button and click and drag, you can actually hear what they're saying. So this is the scene from Step Brothers where he's like, why are you so sweaty? And he's like, I was watching cops. Okay, so this is going to actually help us align our text to um, uh, the actual audio. So before I get started, I'm actually going to create a new layer, layer new solid. And I'm going to make this um, slightly darker than my background color and hit OK. And I'm going to make a big uh, ellipse that's the size of the composition. And then I'm going to twirl down the mask and I'm going to increase the, the feathering quite a bit. Um, just so I have a little bit of depth to my composition. So this is a really popular method people use to kind of like break up just like the background. All right, so now I have my background all set. I have my audio in and now I'm ready to make my type. Um, so I'm going to select the text tool. And I need to type out specifically, why are you so sweaty? Um, so this is going to take some time. Um, it's not going to be like, because you're kind of making a composition, you're making a piece of artwork. So you're going to have to like take your time picking out your fonts um, and then positioning them. And um, we're going to have to duplicate the word over and over again and kind of take some time like stylizing this. So I'm going to type out the word uh, why. And right now my text box isn't big enough for the word, so I have to click and drag uh, to make my text box bigger, and that's way too big. I don't need it to be that, that big. So I'm going to scale down the word Y um, and then make my text box smaller. I'll have to change the position of this. Um, so I um, this is where you could also have a lot of fun with like the font. Um, when you're thinking about fonts, um, I picked college already. I had this one in mind. Um, I really like sans serif fonts. Um, I picked the slab serif for this one. Stay away from script. Stay away from like even serif. I don't know, like would be really appropriate for this like funny movie. It's kind of more business esque. You know, stay away from stylized. Like this, this is a Gatsby font. So why would I use it for this move? You know, this scene from this movie um, versus sans serif, like bold, tall easy to read. Um, so that's why I'm going with college, but you guys can pick whatever you want. And then you can pick whatever like font you want. I really like the white against the dark blue. So I have my first word, Y, and I'm going to duplicate this, Command D to duplicate and move it over. And um, I'm going to scale it down and change it to R. And move it over. And then Command D again. 
and I'm going to change move this over why are you and duplicate again command D and I'm gonna have fun here why are you so maybe too many O's there so again this is taking some time but we're stylizing right um, and then duplicate again command D why are you so sweaty and I need to make my text box bigger and highlight the word and decrease it okay and last but not least why are you so sweaty that's a question so uh, command D again and this time I'm gonna make a big exclamation mark And I'm going to make a really big text box here to get the height of this. And it's really squished over here, so I'm going to select all the other layers and just move them over, nudge them over. All right, and so now we have, why are you so sweaty? Um, so now I want to animate this a little bit. Um, so I actually want to bring in, you know, like it to flip up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the word Y and, um, so I'm going to go to, um, open up the text under that and I'm going to go to more options and where it says anchor point grouping, I want to actually group it as a word and I'm going to take that a step farther. When I go to animate, I'm going to select scale because I'm going to animate the scale. And when I do that, it's going to bring up some, some more options. And I'm going to go um, under range selector and find advanced. And I'm going to look for based on, and again, I'm going to change characters to words. Okay, so I know that's a lot. Check your packet to walk through each of those steps. Um, so then I'm going to go down to scale and um, where it says um, scale, I actually want to um, unclick where it's grouped together and change the scale to zero. Okay, so it's gonna look like it's disappeared. Um, so now I wanna go back up to my um, range selector. So I'm gonna start here um, at the beginning. And actually before I get, too into this. Um, I'm actually going to look down where my waveform was and this is where it should start, right? This is where I want my words to start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select only the text layers. So Y and I'm going to hold down shift to select just the text and I'm going to hold down alt and then next to the P key, I'm going to hit the bracket, the left bracket. So alt left bracket and that cut this here. Um, and then I'm going to go back into um, my range selectors because I want to make sure that I'm like animating with the actual type here. So I'm going to pick the Y again. I'm going down to um, the start and end. So uh, under range selector, I know it's like hard to find under all these things. Um, we're going to change the start to zero and the end to 100%. So that's already there. And then I'm going to select the text, the stopwatch next to start. And I'm going to move a couple frames and change the start to 100. Okay, so what that did is now it looks like this is kind of flipping up. But um, what I actually want to do is add a little easy ease to that. Um, so I'm going to right click and say keyframe assistant and easy ease. And now I have this like, it's like, looks like it's kind of like flipping up. So what's cool about this is I animated this one and I'm actually gonna change this like animation that I just created. I did all these like drop downs. I went under, twirled, twirled, twirled. I'm gonna save this animation as a preset and then I'm gonna actually add it to all my other text so I don't have to do this over and over and over again. So I want you to pick the animator one property. We just created an animation. And then I'm gonna go up to the main menu where it says animation 
and then I'm going to um, say select animation, save animation preset, and I'm going to name this scale up and say save. And I already did, I already practiced this before I actually filmed, so it's already there. Um, so now I can go to all my other layers, and I can go to R and say animation, recent animation presets, pick scale up. I'm going to do it to you, animation, recent animation, scale up. So I'm adding this animation to each one of the words so I don't have to do it individually. Okay. The other thing is, is that I want it to all like pop up at different times. So um, this is where you're going to hold down command and um, listen. Let's bring that down. Um, you're going to have to listen and say um, R, and then I'm going to have to bring R over here. And you. So, so sweaty should be here, and then okay, and then I'm gonna bring this past, you know, a few frames after he says that, and I'm gonna select the text layers again, holding down Shift, and I'm gonna hit Alt, and then the right bracket, so that it's all gonna disappear at the same time. So let's hit. Um, the space bar to, to see all this happen. Why so sweaty? Okay. And now we're ready to do the response. Okay. Now the thing is, is I just like spent all this time and I twirled down and now I have all these layers. We're going to do something, um, that's called a uh, pre-compose. Um, so I'm going to select all the text layers that are already selected. I'm going to right click and say pre-compose. And, um, this is the character Dale from the movie. So I'm going to call it Dale. And I want to say move all the attributes, attributes into a new comp. And I also want to say adjust the composition duration to the time span of the selected layers. So that's going to keep all that timing and animation the same. When I hit OK, look what it did. Now I have a composition on my timeline. And it's the length of you know what I just animated. And it kind of squished it all together. So now I can work with um, you know uh, Will Ferrell's character. And, and um, I was watching cops, okay? So I have that squish. Now I'm going to respond um, with, um, I was watching cops. So you could pick a different font or one that complements that. Um, so it's, you're kind of like saying, oh, this is two different characters. Um, just for time's sake, I'm gonna go with the same one. Um, so I'm gonna make a very big text box for the word for I, and then um, Command D to Duplicate and change this to was, and we need to make the text box way bigger. And I'm going to bring down the scale of this. I was and then command D. I already know, I think I'm going to rescale these. Move these already over again. This is what's going to take some some time. Um, I was. And. Um, Command D to duplicate again. And this I'm going to do something fun. I'm going to hit A for uh, anchor point, and I'm going to move the anchor point into the center of the word. And, um, and then R for rotate, and I'm going to rotate this. Um, to 90 degrees. Actually, negative 90 degrees. There we go. So it's this way. And then I'm going to scale it. 
I was watching cops. And I think I'm going to scale this a little bit. Okay, so take your time, like, arranging it the way that you want. Okay, so now I need these guys to start right here. So I'm going to select these text boxes. Um, I'm holding down Shift while I'm selecting them all. Alt, left bracket to cut them. And then I'm going to animate these with some presets. Um, and then I'm going to, like, actually um, kind of tweak it on my own. So if I go to my effects and presets, um, I'm going to go down to animation presets under presets and there's a whole folder of text ones and I'm specifically going to go to the ones that are set that say animate in. And so I want to animate, um, I'm going to use the same, you can use different ones or whatever. Um, so I, I'm going to just apply one and I'm going to say um, fade up word. I'm just going to pick one and I'm going to click and drag and apply that to the, to the letter I. Okay. Um, so when I twirl down though, and I go to text and I look for the animation, the animator one, we can see, I'm going to go down even more and it's showing me the start and the, the, uh, the, the, the huge span between I, like before it actually, um, fades up. So I'm actually going to go like right about here <laughs> and just move that in so that it fades on like way faster and maybe not so fast. Okay. And um, then again, I have to hold down command and listen. Like when is the words coming in? I was watching cops. So listen for that. And then um, I'm going to go to each of these. I was, and I'm going to go to the fade up word again. But again, I have to twirl down and check the animation under animator range selector and kind of look for, oh my gosh, it's like really, really far away from that. I don't want, I don't want it to take forever to actually bring up there. So I'm going to apply that to these two as well. And then after, I'm going to select my text again, and then hit Alt and End. So you guys go ahead and add those two over here so it's all finished. Um, you can watch it now. Why are you so sweaty? So um, you might need to go back too and kind of say, oh, I'm going to tweak this a little bit. I wasn't listening very carefully because I'm talking, you know, we're going to have to do a lot more listening for this one. Then that's going to be it. Um, that's it for this one. So you're going to go to composition, add to render queue. Make sure it's named correctly. It's exporting, render, and we're all done with this one.